Hey everyone, it's Chris with Artifact, and this video is part of a series that I'm doing where we take a look at uh, pieces from my personal collection, uh, military items, vintage apparel, workwear, um, things that I use as design inspiration. Uh, so let's take a look in this bag and uh, see what we're going to talk about today. Alright, so this is, um, this is a Vietnam era tiger stripe fatigue shirt and uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of old school in that like I just never got all into the, uh, this is advisor sparse, tadpole, tadpole dense, um, you know to me it's a, it's, it's a medium to heavy weight, it's a heavier ounce twill um, and uh, this one's unique in that it's had some modifications. Uh, one, uh, it's uh, got the wearer's name written in it, uh, T-A-M with an accent over the A, um, assumably Vietnamese. Uh, so what we got here is they've taken the breast pockets on this, and these, this, this typical style, this style would have had a gusset, um, but they decided to remove the gusset so that it would have a cleaner presentation uh, when, when wearing. And uh, another thing that's interesting is this one would also have a cuff, but they kind of three quarter sleeved it. Uh, and, that, and that's so you can get a nice tight roll where it's short sleeved and not have a bunch of unnecessary material. And what I believe they used uh, the cuff material for was to add these matching epaulets onto the shirt. Um, and uh, this would have not been issued with the epaulets. And an interesting thing is the tailor, whoever did this, he must have been around for a while because this, the way this chevron is sewn here, the way it's connected is definitely a nod to the French uh, uh, during the first Indochina period. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but otherwise, this is a very textbook tiger piece. Uh, you got your roller coaster stitch on the back of the collar. That's common with the pieces of this era. And uh, you've got what's left of a cloth tag. This would have said like A-M for like um, Asian medium or or whatever uh, it's obscured now and then you got a little hang loop under here um, but yeah it's a cool piece this one I haven't actually owned this one for that long uh, we uh, I'm always sourcing stuff like for the store like vintage fixtures or um, different stuff for photo shoots and one of my picker friends he had found this uh, thrifting and knew that um, I wouldn't be real uh, wouldn't be able to resist it so I haven't had this one for too many years, maybe five or six or seven or something like that. Um, but cool piece. Thanks for watching.